Hello everyone, welcome to Nubo Creative and today we are going to take a look at the seamless transitions for After Effects brought you by eJuice and they are sponsoring today's video and I will give you guys my honest review about the products and also the giveaway is still running so don't miss your chance to win I Want It All Pendle which we cover in the previous video and all the information about the giveaway is in the description down below so let's see what you can do with the seamless transitions. So after we download and install Aegis Spec Manager to open it, just go to Window and right here you will find it and also aegistools.com with it for free. As you see here, I already got it and to install the free pack, all you need to do is go in here to the store and you will find all the packs that you can try for seven days for free. All you need to do is just hit download and it's going to be added to the EU spec manager. So after we open the seamless transitions, you will see basic transitions, blur, camera transitions, displacement transitions, and fish eye transitions, glitches, offset, and perspective as well, and target zoom, and more. So basically all the trending transitions that you may need for your work, you will find it in this pack. And here you can see we got this slide. So here you can just preview all these at once and just navigate here to see them all together. And so let's zoom in here. And here we got these icons. So basically this is um, the settings that we can change for uh, the default settings of the transition. And here we got these magic buttons that you can create slideshows and transitions very quickly and easily. So let's see how we can add transitions to our comp. So I'm going to place my time indicator right here and just double click on these and it's going to add that transitions right there. I can also just drag that to the comp and it's going to add it where my time indicator is. I can also just drag that into my timeline and you can also use the import button here if you want to. So different ways to basically add the transitions to your comp, which is very useful. So as you see, trends are very fast. And so now let's see what we can do with these uh, settings here. So the first thing here we have the easy ease and here this is the easy ease, is in, is out. So the type of these transitions and how it looks. So let's try the easy ease here and let's add the same but this time with ease out. So you can see how it is different and it's actually changing the speed of the transition. So you can see here we have the reset that you can reset your settings. So this is for time in here. So we have two seconds. So let's say we want two seconds 
transition here. So you can just drag that and we will have a longer transition here for two seconds. So let's remove these. You can have shorter transition here. So maybe half second and maybe we're going to choose this one here. So you can see here what you can do with all of these settings. Changing the duration and speed, which can be very useful. And here we have the wiggle mode. So you can add wiggle. So here let's add maybe something, let's say lens and add that right there. And let's preview this. So it's hard to say that we have any wiggle on these. So maybe let's try this one. So maybe because it's really fast, so let's now try with a longer duration so we can see that we have a wiggle effect right there. So now you can actually see the wiggle on these transition, which is very nice. And here are basically the motion blur, so you can have motion blur or just 50% or 100% or no motion blur here. So let's add the same to see the difference here. So you can see this one have no motion blur and this one actually have motion blur, which is very uh, useful actually to change the look and also if you want your transition to be faster. And here we have this gear icon which give us the styles. So we can add different styles to our transitions. We can add exposure, glow, chromatic aberration, Nile lights, and monochrome, and so on. So let's say I want chromatic aberration. Just select that and hit OK. And then you can just drag that and now we will have it with all the settings plus the style with backup. So you can see now we got these chromatic aberration on our transition, which is very cool and easy to add. That's very cool here. So you can just reset all the settings here. And here we have the filter, which is very cool feature on these Aegis back manager that I like a lot. So let's say you're looking for transition that have rotation motions. So it's going to actually just show us only those kind of transitions here. Maybe you want something have right motion. So this transition going to the right and so on. So we have all these very cool stuff. You can also here choose that some have target zoom. So let's say we want only the target zoom, um, only the tar target zoom transitions. So it's going to show us only those. We want some transitions that have a wiggle and so on. And here we have these colors. So this is just indicate, show us the fastest transitions here. So you can see here we got green, Yellow, this means uh, it's a little bit faster. And the red is actually slower transitions. So we can just see them right here, which is very nice to see if that is going to take more time to render or not. And here we have this target um, zoom. So very nice way here. So let's add this target zoom. Let's add this one here. And let's say we don't like the target that I give us. So you can see here, this is the target. Let's preview this. So we can actually change the target. Just hit this icon. Let's put it right there. 
and now we change it for us. So basically it changed the in and we still have the outs different. So you can basically pick up different target for the in and the outs if you need to. So here I'm going to pick up the same. So right there so you can see the difference and the flexibility for changing these and how easy it is actually. So this actually this icon for the eJuice tools that installed, very useful tools. So and now we have all these, so let's give a preview here. So as you see, this is pretty cool. And so let's actually now remove all these and see what we can do with this animate button here. So I'm going to select all these transitions here and just hit animate and it's going to add transitions for me automatically. So as you see here, after a few seconds, it add these transitions for me, which is very helpful. So it just placed them right into place. So as you see, it's very cool. And let's say we don't like these transitions, so we can hit anime again, and randomly it's going to just replace all these transitions for us automatically, which is very helpful. So you can see now it pick up different ones for us here. And you can see here, actually, it's pick up the same category, but with different settings. So let's back to the previous one here. And let's say, actually, I just want to choose or have different ones. So let's say I just want to have a random on this one. So I just select that one and hit animate. And basically, it's just going to change this one for me. So maybe I will change this one here Hit animate and randomly it's going to pick up a different transition for me. That's very nice. So here I have different one. As you see here, that's very cool. And of course, on the gear icon here, we got these enemy only with my favorite transitions. So if I have favorite transitions, which I can have right here, selecting all the ones I like, so you can find them right here. And if you hit enemy, it's just going to pick up from these favorite ones, which is very handy. And also here, you can assign shortcut to these anime. So we don't really need to open a just back manager to add transition to your scene. This is very helpful. And here we got the slides. So this is a way to create slideshow in a very smart way. So here I give you to select the resolutions you like or you actually can create your own here. So I'm just going to go for the standard and hit continue. And here you can rename the slideshow and then it's ask you to just select the transitions you want to be on the slideshow. So here I'm going to select these ones, just hold control and let's see, this one and hit continue and then upload the music and it's going to analyze the music and suggest for us how many photos we want. So I'm going to select the folder and basically here I have the videos. It doesn't have to be just photos. So it's going to do the work for me and import those videos and the music and also the transitions all at once with one single click of a button, which is a very smart way. So you can see here, I got these. So let's preview this.
So as you see, I actually did a good job here uh, syncing the transitions with very cool bits of the music and just with a few adjustments, maybe delete the end fade, maybe the first transition here, and that's all what you will get. So also this work with Premiere Pro, so let's say you have your clips right here. All you need to do here is replace with After Effects composition, and then quickly you can create transitions right here, so you can just pick up the ones you like. So let's go for this one here. So let's just drag this one and pick up the different one here. So maybe these target zoom. So I'm going for it right here. And then just go back to Premiere Pro and just surrender that. So as you see guys, it's worked very nicely here. So it's compatible with Adobe Dynamic Links, which is very cool feature as well. And so it's going to be very useful for editors. So that's it. And visit eJuice.com to download the free plugins and also the trials for each pack so you can see and take a look about their products and also about the giveaway, it's still running. So at the end of this month, we are going to announce three winners, which they are going to win this huge, really nice pendle, very useful guys. So don't miss the chance. And so this was the video of today. Hope it was very useful for you as always. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos coming soon. And thank you for watching.